Okay, this is question three on page 107 of the AS textbook. Uh, in this question, a crane is being used to raise one end of a girder, which is 10 meters long. Um, when one end of the girder is six meters off the ground, the cable is perpendicular to the girder. And uh, what we need to do is work out the tension in the cable. Now we can start by labelling the other forces acting on the girder. The weight is going to act vertically downwards from the centre of mass, and we know that's 15 kilonewtons and there's also going to be some sort of force from the ground um, but we have no idea what that is at this stage um, now if we want to calculate the tension we can eliminate this unknown force this unknown interaction with the ground by taking moments about that point uh, the moment due to this unknown force about that point is zero because the perpendicular distance uh, is zero. So let's start by looking at the anti-clockwise moment about that point. Now the anti-clockwise moment is uh, from the tension in this cable and the tension is already perpendicular uh, 10 meters in a perpendicular direction from uh, the point we've taken moments about. So the moment is simply force P times the distance 10 meters. So obviously T is what we want to find out. Now the clockwise moment comes from the weight, uh, but unfortunately we don't know the perpendicular distance between the line of action of the weight and the point we're taking moments about. So this is the distance we're interested in, this green dotted line. Uh, now if I redraw that triangle we do know that the distance uh, from the point we're taking moments about to the center of mass is five meters because it's halfway along the girder and we know the distance uh, to the ground is three meters because we're halfway along the girder and the end is six meters up so now Finding this distance here is a simple case of Pythagoras, or actually, in this case, it's a Pythagorean triple. So we can immediately say that that distance is 4 metres. So the clockwise moment about this point is going to be 15 kilonewtons times 4 meters which is 60 kilonewton meters now because the beam uh, is in equilibrium we know the clockwise moment must equal the anti-clockwise moment therefore 10t equals 60 and t equals 6 kilonewtons so the tension in the cable is 6 kilonewtons. The next part of the question asks us to consider this unknown support force from the ground and it wants us to show the horizontal and vertical components of it. So we'll start with the horizontal component. Because the beam's in equilibrium all the horizontal forces on it must be balanced. Uh, there's no horizontal force from the weight because the weight is vertical. So the only horizontal force can come from, the only other horizontal force can come from the tension T. So we need to work out the horizontal component of the tension. Now if I redraw this diagram, because that one's getting a bit messy,
we're trying to work out the horizontal component of our tension and in order to do that we need to know this angle theta now take a moment to convince yourself of this but that angle theta is actually the same as this angle theta here so if we can work this out we can then resolve the components of T now for the lower theta we have the opposite and the hypotenuse so we're going to use sine sine theta is going to be 6 over 10 therefore theta is going to be the inverse sine of 6 over 10 0.6 which is 36.9 degrees now we're in a position to work out the horizontal component of the tension for this we can say sine 36.9 equals we'll call that th for horizontal th on t which is 6 kilonewtons therefore the horizontal component is 6 sine 36.9 which is 3.6 kilonewtons to the left so if that's the horizontal component of our tension force the horizontal component of the force from the ground must be we'll call that S horizontal must be 3.6 kilonewtons to the right now for the vertical component of this support force there are two things with a vertical component we have the weight acting vertically and the vertical component also of the tension okay so we need to work out the sum of these two vertical forces so we can work out the vertical component of the support force from the ground so going back to our diagram here the vertical component of the tension should be quite simple we can calculate that using cos because we know the adjacent and the hypotenuse so cos 36.9 equals t vertical over 6 t vertical is 6 cos 36.9 which is 4.8 kilonewtons and that's an upwards force now if we take that away from the weight which is acting downwards then the overall force from the weight and the cable in the vertical direction is going to be 15 minus 4.8 which is 10.2 kilonewtons down therefore the vertical component of the support force must be 10.2 kilonewtons up now the final task is to work out the magnitude of this support force 
Now we've already established that the vertical component is 10.2 kilonewtons and the horizontal component is 3.6 kilonewtons. We want to work out the overall support force, S. So this should be a simple case of Pythagoras. where S squared is 10.2 squared plus 3.6 squared. S is the square root of all that. Which turns out to be... 10.8 kilonewtons. That's the magnitude of the support force. Um, the rest of the question was given to two significant figures, so we should probably round that to 11 kilonewtons as the magnitude of this support force from the ground to be consistent with the question.